It is a very concerning issue for the Israeli security establishment, maybe even more than Palestinian terrorism. Israeli Daily, Israel Ayom, is reporting the 25 incidents defined as terror actions perpetrated by Jewish people took place in the first half of 2023, a 50% rise when compared to 2022, when this was the figure for the entire year. These were terrorist attacks committed by settlers to scare these people, to drive, to drive them away from their land. What brought the drastic change? Security officials may not say it publicly, but the notion is that it happens due to the fact that those engaging in violent activities feel encouraged by the hardline politicians within Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition. We are backing you. Run to the hills and settle there. We love you. The head of the internal security agency, Ronen Barr, warned the prime minister of the dangers of Jewish terrorism. Those supporting the people involved in these actions in the West Bank obviously have a completely different view, one that was seen this past weekend. The army claims settlers from the outpost of Ostzion deliberately clashed with Palestinians, killing one of them. Right-wing members say the reality is different. I saw a weak and injured person who is in hospital after an operation, and I tell you that the IDF message is false. This is a terror victim, nothing short of that. In any other place, he would be treated with respect, and the Palestinians would be behind bars. Terrorists for some, terror victims for others, and a violent reality that is constantly escalating.